Been alive from the new Peter Macabre Stadium in Polokwane. It could be the defending champions, Maruma Gallants or Orlando Pirates, to join Mamelody Sundowns in the draw for the quarterfinals of the Cup of Dreams. Convincing victory by Sundowns last night. One doesn't anticipate in the first meeting between two Premier League sides of the campaign. Is Dan Dance. Or oh, there's space for a goal. Should have been a goal too. Zach Lepata. Who he scored from a penalty spot against Chiefs when he was at Galaxy. Great opportunity to put Orlando Pirates in front. Misses it. This was a sitter. We know what he can do. We perhaps can pilot him because he hasn't been playing regularly for the team but perhaps this was one of those chances as a striker you've got to bury this chance Molangwani Mapoche has gone very far up the touchline inside from Clementino and Gemma oh there was a deflection on that and it's a really top save from Richard Ovori when the confidence is high and the belief is there and the numbers are showing when it comes to scoring goals he made an attempt earlier on, it was a way of target. And this time he says, I'm going to get this one on target. And he does. And Ofori makes a fine save. It is in Zonzo, who seems to be the man that has got the appetite to score goals for the team. Doing well from the midfield and the confidence is high. Nicely flicked away by Cabello Dlamini. The ball's back there. That's a handball, surely. Kwame Pepra, nothing from the referee, Mr. Kistuer. Cabello Glamini tries to get past to Mabocha. Mabocha will win that little battle, and now they've got numbers forward here. Have Maruma Gallants and Glogla fancying himself with another dig. Decides not to, to pull a trigger on that occasion. Not able to find Junior Dion either. And uh, the composure paying off for Orlando Price with Paseco Marco. Penalty or no penalty? Mr. Kistua. Was it? Was it a handball? It was. Well, his hands are in a natural position. But and uh, how does the referee miss it? Because he's not even far from the action, mm -hmm. Kevin. Because that's a handball. Jeepers, any day of the There's week. There's no doubt of that. No. <laughs> that's a handball. <laughs> Mabocha has gone on the overlap here, and Lodi a little pullback as well, and there's a chance for Moronwani, and this time the referee does point to the penalty spot with a foul from Heavy Jele. There's a touch from, Cody, from, from the experienced Heavy Jele, it's a good decision that he makes. Well, just after having missed a handball shot from Kwame Pepra and Glondlo from the penalty spot after the foul from Heavy Jele. Has a chance to make it 1-0, and does, ooh, just about missed that. Sneaks it into the right hand upright. Dan Malasella will celebrate, but I'll tell you what, that was mighty close. No Pierre. And this is Mulawa. There's no doubt that there's a penalty, but I think also it was a smart move from Mulawani who didn't even want to jump because there was an option for him to be able to do that. But as for this penalty, it was played with power. He guessed right, but he was beaten there for power. And normally when you aim for that upright, it's not easy for the goalkeeper to get to the end of it. Massive giant brands of South African football are at the bottom, both of them, of the Glad Africa Championship standings. Nine matches remaining. Mm. The other one actually went to the finals with the Lava Pirates in the net bank cup. The black left Well, there's space for a goal here, and eventually there's a bit of space opens up on the right hand side of defense. Oh, the left hand side of defense for Bruno Garantz and Vanilla Shandu doing in the net bank cup that he's been doing in the Cap Confederations Cup. Pirates are level, just about half an hour played. And who? Can only be him as well. He does have this appetite to get goals. Protecting the ball, getting into the right areas. It looks like an easy finish, but when you have the understanding between the players and Sandu being an option on the right hand side, was it Lipasa with the supply? It looks easy, but it was well worked. A penalty from Antlondro, Sandu with a goal, 1-1. One, one. Here's the score after 90 minutes, extra time to follow.
All this space from Abbaso! Woodwork! Saves the day from Marumo Gallants. It's not the first time that Pirates have struck the woodwork. It's a good effort from the 26-year-old. Just give him supply in the box. He makes, so, he makes those runs inside the box. In between two players, had made up his mind. Good technique. Unlucky. Full laces. No chance there for the keeper. Happy jelly. Space for a goal here and a miss the opportunity and Dan Malicella will not be able to believe this one. Five minutes remaining, they should have sewn that one up with Otto Disa. He's missed the back of the net with an open goal beckoning. Yes. Maruma Gallant has spoiled an opportunity. Wow, that's disappointing. It is. Lots of concentration. I spoke about the patience. Look at how Pirates were so disorganized at the back. And they know. But that's the moment. That's where laps of concentration is. Mulangwani. What a miss. Two hours of football played. The, both goals came in the first half within 10 minutes of each other. And we are going to have this match decided by way of a penalty shootout. Will it be Gallants or will it be Pirates? One of these two sides will play in the quarterfinals of the Netbank Cup. Oh, he's Whoa! missed it! <laughs> Jumps up to the ball. Tickles it wide. And that's the opening that Orlando Pirates wanted. Dan Manasella can't believe it. Orlando Pirates have been given a gift here. Now Orlando Pirates have to <laughs> score penalties here. Nobody can leave anything to chance. Oh my word! And Dart sets the time and Tombo follows suit. And Pirates have given Maruno Cannons a huge opportunity now. told you those that are part of the sudden death are the ones that have not so convincing in terms of taking their penalties oh, oh. good save from Androbo and the pressure's back on Orlando Pirates and nobody in sudden death has scored a penalty Brian Androbo oh. can he seal the deal for Marumo oh. Gallants can the defending champions Finally, after seven penalties, go through. Yes, they can! And Clobo smashes it past his opposite number. And the celebrations break out at the new Peter Macava Stadium as Marumo Gallants, the defending champions, will oust big hitting Orlando Pirates and dump the Buccaneers out of the cup and move through into the quarterfinal draw alongside of Mamelody Sundowns. Took it well. No pressure at all. He became a hero when he saved the penalty, becomes a hero now when he converts. Well, all the angles on your world of champions. Dan Malacella, a little bit cheeky towards the end. He's been very animated tonight, but there's no doubt that he's super delighted with the victory over Orlando Pirates. 1-1 one, one after extra time. Rumo Gallants then successful on the penalty shootout. They win by five goals to four. It's been a good night. Coach, I see a huge smile on your face. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, yeah, very difficult. But I think the people at home are very pleased with what they saw. Very, I mean, entertaining, you know. Um, we could have, and it could have gone anyway. You know, uh, we, we could have lost. They, they, you know, they could have lost during normal time. Difficult. They had a lot of chances. We had our fair a share of chances but fewer than them you know because they had more chances than to be honest you know so <clears throat> that's football you know that's cup, cup matches cup matches does not uh, allow uh, space for mistakes you know uh, and it doesn't allow space for not taking chances and stuff like that uh, in the end long game but very interesting and and i'm happy that in the end we won you know now joining me is coach fatlu davids coach of uh, uh, orlando pirates coach your thoughts on how the 120 minutes transpired 
Yeah, I think we, we have ourselves to blame. Um, besides the penalty they had, uh, one turnover in the last minute uh, where they had a chance to score, they never really troubled our, our goalkeeper. And uh, on the other hand, we had enough chances to win the game in normal time, uh, in extra time as well. You made it difficult for Maruma Gallens to play. You know, we all know that they're very position-based, but you, you were cutting out these spaces. What is it that you think was making it difficult for you to take those opportunities? Yeah, that's credit to the boys, how they apply the, the strategy to press high, to not allow them to play these short passes uh, in the midfield, um, putting their bodies on the line, jumping into the next line, and uh, that was really successful. Then the moments out of those uh, pressing situations where you have a three against two, or four against three, uh, we didn't use. Um, we have to lift the boys up now um, out of